Hello, my name is Victor Anderson. I'm Editor-in-Chief of Waters Technology. I'm joined in the studio today by Jonathan Perrett, who is Director of uh, Managed Services at SmartStream. Now, the reason why we're here is because SmartStream has won the best back office platform at the 2019 Cell Side Technology Awards. And I'm going to be chatting to Jonathan a little bit about the technologies comprising um, SmartStream's back office platform and uh, the various services and technologies that kind of underpin that, but also various other aspects of SmartStream's back office activities. So, Jonathan, um, welcome to the studios today. Um, and firstly, congratulations on SmartStream's win in the, um, in the, the cell side back office platform category in this year's SST awards. Now, um, I know that there are lots of technologies that kind of um, that look to address back office uh, type issues from SmartStream perspective. Do you want to talk me through um, the technologies and services that typically comprise its back office suite? Yeah, um, well, thank you very much for inviting me to speak today. Um, firstly, we are extremely proud at SmartStream for winning this award. Um, it's, as you know, it's the second year that we've won it. Yeah. And, um, you know, it means a great deal to us all yes. uh, within our organisation. Well, congratulations again. Um, going on to the services and the solutions that we offer, um, increasingly we've found that our clients and the market has moved away from just asking for a platform, yeah. but they want us to increase that into a platform and services. Right. And what I mean by that is that you're talking about hosting in the cloud yes. and a full managed service. Now, hosting in the cloud um, typically would be that you host and you supply uh, technical support around that hosting environment. And the full managed service would be, you know, everything from the full BPO across all of the technology and the operations side. Yes. Now, you're probably aware that we offer both now, um, and that's across all of our systems. Um, we've set up a center of excellence yes. in India, and we've recruited um, a lot of highly skilled and really motivated people to improve the experience of the client, our systems, yep. and the services that we offer that we offer currently is the Rex Premium yes. uh, Reconciliation Platform, uh, RDU, yes. which is the reference data, Corporate Actions um, Processing Engine, and um, you know there's various other pieces like collateral management, etc. Yes. Um, they're all what we would like to term as state-of-the-art um, platforms. And you know the feedback we get from the market and from our clients is that you know they're very happy um, with the platforms that they are. But obviously, in any uh, market, you have to look to improve all of those um, going forward because the world doesn't stop. Okay, good. Um, now you mentioned um, reconciliations, and I know that's a big part of. Um, of SmartStream's uh, kind of back office, um, it's a kind of a core feature, right, of the, of, of the back office um, um, suite. So um, from a sell side perspective, obviously these are sell side technology awards. So from a sell side perspective, what are the challenges that, um, that SmartStream sell side clients are experiencing with respect to reconciliations now? And how does SmartStream go about addressing those challenges? Right, certainly it's um, the most of the challenges that people face now are down to the complexity of the markets. Long gone are the times where you had a transaction-based reconciliation platform that you would do one-to-one -one matching. Yep. The world has moved on and obviously um, the way people conduct businesses has moved on as well. We now find that clients and the markets are you know, the complexities change so much that we're looking at digital payments. We're looking at many to many cross currencies, many to one. Yeah. Um, and obviously the mode of um, the information coming into the system is changing as well. It's not just one um, flat file that comes in or a swift file that comes in. We, ta we have to be in a position to process all of that different data in yep. all of its different formats. 
Um, Jonathan, the next point I want to put to you is I know that SmartStream has made a big move towards embracing um, uh, artificial intelligence and folding that technology in to underpin all its products. So do you want to talk a little bit about the extent to which AI is now part of the SmartStream offering and, and how that technology kind of transforms its back office <coughs> uh, functions and, and services? Yeah, sure. Um, well, presently we have a number of data scientists based in Vienna yes. um, and they're working on the uh, artificial intelligence across all of our systems with our clients. Now that's the innovation lab, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, and it would be very simple for us to just say, right, we're going to target one or two areas of the platforms. We've cast our net wide, mm -hmm. so you know we want to maximise the offering that AI gives us and the opportunities um, that, that can rise from that. But we have to be really careful that any AI that we implement doesn't impact the controls that either we have in place or our clients have in place. Right. Because you know, AI is, it can be a very, very powerful tool, and if it's handled correctly it will you know in advance the market immensely but if we don't have those controls around it yeah. it's not going to as i say we are working with our clients on that and um you know we've come up with various um different parts of um the process improvements to the process including you know looking at the rates of straight through processing yeah looking at the way we process data into the system and how we can maximise the information that's coming into that and various other pieces as well. I've got to say that um, it's going extremely well. We've had good feedback from some of our clients and obviously um, you know, we're keeping on engaging with them because you know, it doesn't just have to stop yeah. at what we offer our system because AI will give us the opportunity to show the clients where the data's coming from, how the data's coming from, and how they can improve on yep. that data coming into our systems to give them a better experience as well. Good. Final question to you, Jonathan, is the new technologies on the horizon from SmartStream's perspective. Um, you might not be able to chat about all of them, but do you want to just give us a flavor of, of typically what is important to SmartStream right now so that um, our, uh, our readers are, uh, are well appraised of um, SmartStream strategy? Well, I can tell you there are new technologies um, that we're currently working on, and I would point you towards what I've said about AI. Right. Um, I can't, and I'm not at liberty, to go into each, each of the improvements and new developments w that we're currently working on, yes. because that would be wrong of me to, to make an announcement before they're delivered. Right. However, having said that, um, we will be making formal announcements in the normal way later yes. on in the year. Right. So watch this space. Okay, good. That sounds really good. Thank you. Let's leave it there, Jonathan. So um, from me, thank you very much for um, coming in and spending a little bit of your day with us. Um, we've got the Cell Side Technology Awards a little bit later, so I look forward to catching up with you then. And thanks also to uh, Waters Technologies viewers for watching this clip. As I mentioned, my name is Victor Anderson. I'm Editor-in-Chief of Waters Technology. And I look forward to catching up with you in the not-too-distant future. Mm -hmm.